Hi there folks, I'm Iliani from GreyWardens.com and welcome to our video walkthrough of the Assault on Visuals Keep. Okay, as soon as you start, you're attacked by three Genlocks in a row who are chasing a survivor down. Now in these first couple of fights, all they're here to do is reacquaint you with the combat system. So what we're going to do is make a few Genlock popsicles. Now I don't use tactics, so I'm just quickly disable that. As mentioned, these combats are only here to reacquaint you, so we're just going to breeze through these. Once this combat ends, we're going to get attack of the plot, which we're just going to move through. Okay, let's go quickly level up Myri. Give her a level of 10 plus so she can attack at mages much easier. Now, Peon's plight is very, very, fu very, very funny and amusing in this section, so definitely going to take that. I'll show you that to great use in a minute. Okay, so now we've got the plot, it's time to unbores and move through. Now as soon as you pass through these gates you're going to get attacked by a small ambush. Three genlocks to the north, two to the south. Really really simple. Charge over here, take as many genlocks as you can. Then by the time the other look round you should pretty much have killed these two. Enabling you to turn around and track the others. That archer there is pretty ineffectual if you can ignore him for the most part. Bloody sod. There, run away now, you little shit. Okay, once they're dead, you can move over. There are some bits of loot over there, but if you don't see me opening a chest, it's just because it's random loot inside, and therefore I'm really not bothered with it. Eventually, my will realise we've run off and catch up. Now, as soon as you put through this guy, this gate, two more Genox can attack from there. Again, just charge them. Absolutely fuck all they can do to you. There was a very specific reason we're going through this uh, right passage here. It's the right entry to keep, and I'll explain that in a bit. Another chest there that's got random loot inside. Okay, now as soon as we pass through this gate here, we're going to be attacked by a large group. So here we have two Herlocks attached, attacking a Vigil's guard. Over here, we have another Herlock running down the stairs. We have a Shriek who's just running down there, and we have an Ogre heading there, and they're all heading towards us. So what we're going to do, we're going to meet them in the middle. So just charge straight for them. See how many you can kill with the time. Now, be wary. If you uh, kill both the Herlocks that are attacking the Vigil Guards, the Vigil Guard will run off, and sometimes that can uh, that can cause uh, people you'd rather not run off, run off as well. So we're just going to peel on plight this Ogre because he's not ranked. There he goes. Right, now he's dead. As you can see, he was running after the guard that just ran past. That's, where you, that's why you need to make sure to kill those Herlocks last. Okay, so we have another two guards attacking. Sorry, another two Herlocks attacking another guard. Easy enough to save him. Just march in. And take him out. I'm going to kind of freeze these fuckers. Eventually, my real catch up. Okay, so he's dead, the guard's happy. Now we're gonna go now the reason why we were entering from that right direction is because there's a merchant around here. Now you see these two herlocks and that genlock. If you're attacked from the left side or the central side, they spawn too early, meaning you can't get to the merchant before they twat him. You can ignore that herlock beating up the merchant there because he will probably kill the herlock. 
Terrified merchant or not, that is one bloody hard merchant. As you can see, the terrified merchant is winning. Okay, so now that's dead, we're going to head into one of the most amusing parts in the game. From that bit, we're going to want Myri. Now, you see that gate up there? That gate is about to explode. Literally explode. So, having saved with the guards, we're going to charge it. Now, sometimes some of the abilities this gate can cause you are knockdown damage and stun, so hopefully we won't get any of that. There we go. We got damaged and stunned. Oh, Inga got some as well. She must have been following too close behind. Now, normally I have them staggered, but because I've waited for Inga to catch up, a bit silly there. Now, as you saw from the, what's just happened there, we've got a Genlock emissary there who we're going to take out. You want to take him out as quickly as possible. There we go. I'm dead. Now, if you're forced to charge him, you're going to need to be able to run to the right very quickly. I'll show you why in a minute. Now, we can see where the, je where the emissary is now. As soon as we reach the emissary, two herlocks spawn around the corner. These herlocks are taking out a poor, hapless medic, who we're going to want to save, because if we let him die, we lose an entire quest. So, let's quickly save him. As you can see, he's already taken a little bit of damage. Okay, and that up those steps is a chest that has inside the first part of the Storm Chaser armor set, which is a very nice armor set, gives you lots of resistance against lightning. In that chest, if you have a rogue, only rogues can unlock it. Um, if you have a rogue, you can get a Mage's Belt, which gives plus two magic and plus four stamina. Or, you, and in addition, you can get a rune that gives you plus three resistance to lightning, cold, and fire. Now, as soon as we pass through the gates, now onto the medical car the task, you see two Herlocks spawn there, a Vigil Soldier and a Shriek's going to spawn there. In a minute, we're going to have two more Herlocks spawn here, and a Genlock Archer there. The problem is, as soon as you reach halfway, that's when they spawn, and they run straight towards the guard. In addition, as soon as you reach here, just before the guard, two more Herlocks spawn here to charge down and kill an another Vigil Guard who's just in front of the crate we need to get to. So what you do, you send Myri straight forward to draw as much aggro as you can from them, whilst your other character goes to save the guard. Now, we want to get, reach the halfway point, and Myri's going to taunt to bring as much uh, attention to her as possible. As you can see, the herlocks have spawned. We've got a couple of seconds to... Okay, so now everybody's pissing off. The archer can be ignored for the most part. He's uh, managed to stun them. That doesn't usually happen. Got a peon's plight, the shriek. As you can see, they're chasing after, which is what we don't want. Shriek's dead. Right, Myri's pretty much handling this uh, situation quite nicely. The guards we saved, we've already saved the other guard. That arch can be taken out in a couple of seconds. Now, what you want to do there is just go and grab this crate, Grab the medical supplies and you're done. Just make sure to take them back to the medic, otherwise you're going to be into... Yeah, if you don't take them back to the medic, you're going to have some problems because it means you don't actually complete the quest. Once that's done, just head into the keep and you're done. And that's our uh, what, uh, visual walkthrough for the Sultan Vigil's Keep outside. Tune in uh, later for uh, the inside. And I'm Iliani from GradeWardens.com. You can catch all kinds of Dragon Age-related news at HTTP. GraveWardens.com. Thank you and good night.